we're back on the boat for the next day. It's a hectic week. So we've got the backpack on and uh, walking into town to do a bit of shopping. We're gonna have a, we are gonna have a lazy day. We're going to move the boat a little bit because number one, we're in full sun and suddenly the weather's got hot again. And uh, we just want to be out of the way of everything again, don't we? So yeah. we're gonna get supplies for the weekend move about a mile maybe and uh, it's been a hectic week back at the cottage and you've done loads of driving haven't you yes haven't i just so um when we went back to organize the wedding we needed to take id and uh, foolishly we left the boat in a little bit of a rush got back to the cottage tried to sort our paperwork out and realised that we, because we didn't have certain other pieces of identification, we needed our passports, which were on the boat. So Rich then had, the next day, had to drive, I think, four hours back um, to the boat, yeah. <laughs> get the passports and come back to the house again. It's only 130, a just over 100 miles, but it took me four hours. The traffic was <laughs> awful. And it took me two hours coming back, so that was a lovely afternoon. <laughs> He's a good man, though. He said I'm worth it. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the long and short of it is that we think that we need a weekend just chilling. And it's bank holiday weekend, which means any towns are going to be busy and we're going to find a quiet spot, hopefully. Yeah, well, we've been here exactly a week today now, so um, looking forward to having a bit of different scenery around us. It'd be nice, won't it? Are you moaning about this scenery no, already? No, I'm not moaning <laughs> about the scenery. Look at that. <laughs> Archie's been a bit poorly. Yeah. We're not quite sure what it is. He was swimming at the cottage and suddenly came out of the water and just sat. Um, really miserable. He did go back in again, but it's been really subdued. We're not sure if he's just sulking because there's no river to swim in here. Because he does, when you leave a river, he just sits in it and cries because mm. he doesn't want to come away. But it's the same yeah. when we're at the cottage. He always mopes about and sulks, doesn't he, when we're back there. After a day, he's yeah. had enough and he, he just, he's, I don't know, he's... He seems better today. He's, he's look, he's running around, and but he, um, we nearly went into an emergency vet yesterday because he was so subdued. But I think he's back to his normal self now. Yeah, I think it was a, a, a major sulk. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. Oh, we brought much more stuff back to the boat than we took back to the cottage. I think we took about six books back and brought them fifteen back to the boat. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and cycling stuff and more camping gear because the plan is we're going to walk up Kinder Scout which is uh, a big hill Oops. in the Peak District <laughs> where you gone? I'm falling through holes in the and uh, we're going to pack the backpack up with the tent and do some wild camping overnight and technically it's not allowed but uh, it's got open access all over the Peak District and Lots of people wild camp, and as long as you don't leave a trace that you've been there and uh, you p pitch your tent up late in the day and move early in the morning, it's uh, generally regarded as okay. So it's our first wild camp we've ever done, isn't it? We've done lots of camping yeah. before. Yeah. Somebody did suggest that to catch these sunrise views we should walk in the night and yeah. then catch the sunrise coming up over the hill, but we figure by doing this we can... You know, go to sleep at eight o'clock and get up at four or five in the morning yeah. and watch the sunrise. Great, so it? It'd be lovely. That's the plan for next week. One day, hopefully, it's not going to be too hot that we can do that. We're on the move. It's Sunday morning. It's the first time in over a week. It feels good, doesn't it, Fran? It is over a week. This time last week, we were on a big walk, which we were planning to do today, but it's just going to be too hot for Much walking. Hot. Yeah. So we're cruising. I don't know, well, just as long as it takes us to find a new spot, really. We don't need to be going anywhere, but we just have been somewhere a week and we're bored with it now. Yeah. Although I don't know how you can get bored with these views, but just time to move on. It is. We've harvested the local produce, which uh, <laughs> was a few blackberry bushes up the hill. So I've been up this morning and picked blackberries. What are you going to do with them? Crumble, I think pie, blackberry, we've got apples that we brought back from the cottage with us, a few windfalls, they're not particularly good for eating but they'll make a lovely crumble. Mm. So that's what you might get for lunch and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we've got um, 
water to make because we didn't top up with water at the last point. Or and drinking looking water, at drinking yeah. water, looking at the map, it's um, right at the end of Bugsworth Basin, which isn't far, but that might take us a week to get there easily. So at the moment we're having to boil the water out. We've got water in the tank, but we don't generally like to drink it, so we're just having to keep ahead of ourselves and boil water to drink. But that's fine, it's not a problem, is it really? Just being yeah. organised. And this towpath is so busy with runners and cyclists and walkers. Hiya! Lovely wave then. Dougie? So, it has uh, been busy, hasn't it? Has it has really been busy. Yeah. So. But I think everybody's making the most of the weather. It's been such a rotten summer, and now we've just got this little glorious weekend. Everybody's out. All the boats are out. Bank holiday weekend. Everybody's out. Yeah. And, but it's lovely. It's, it's nice. nice. Yeah. Really pleasant. Watch that bridge. I am watching that bridge. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me we meant to be Well, I've woken up this morning to not much of a view. Where's that gone? Well, autumn's just round the corner. Beautiful morning, though. Very atmospheric. Doing, friend? Well, waiting for water to fill up. Um, our water tank got really low, so it's probably going to be about an hour. And these are all the books that we brought back from the cottage. So I'm trying to find room for them on the boats. Uh, we both love reading, and it's been a bit of a dilemma for us not having all our books with us on the boat and having to restrict ourselves. We've got a bookcase up here, which isn't a bookshelf, which is why. A lot of the shelves have to, the books have to lay sideways because it's not designed for books. And we've got two similar in the bedroom, but they're all full up. So <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to. I don't think we want to get rid of any of these books that are on the boat now. We've got these are mainly reference books on here, to be honest. The birds, wildflower book, classical music books. Um, that's my little notebook that I've got my quotes written down in bedroom we've got mainly novels in there and I think we've got a bit of a mixture here but we'll have to have a sort out otherwise you're gonna to have to build a new bookshelf we'll have to do something get a bigger boat on one of our videos somebody mentioned Moley and, and put a quote from Wind in the Willows when we had the water bowl in there and I've never read it so or being a children's book I quite fancy that one next so that's mine and also, while we were in Ludlow, I had a real good find. This is my journal. And uh, every time we've travelled, I make a note of how many miles we've gone, where we've been. And just a quick note about the places. As time goes on, I'm writing more and more each day in there. And I quite like doing it. But as you can see, I'm right at the end of the book now. And we needed a new one. But look at this wrapping paper of when I bought my new journal. This is from books that have reached the book graveyard. And they take out anything that's interesting like maps or important stuff. And the rest of the book just gets thrown away. So this is 18th century paper from a book that they've used as wrapping paper. I don't want to tear it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm reluctant to tear it. But what a fantastic idea. So 18th century wrapping paper. I'm going to have to tear it. That's a shame. And inside, that's my new journal. 
for the next year's travelling. I'm pleased, yes. But I'm also going to read the wrapping paper first because it's got some really interesting history on it. <laughs> General history, Richard Barnes. No, nope, I don't know who he was. What a great idea there. So that's it. While we're waiting for water fill up, I'm going to try and find homes for these. Oh, the sun's burning off the fog. I think it's going to be another scorcher. Apparently Fran's going to clear the roof off and clean the roof this morning while I do a bit of editing. Friend. Well, I just wanted some cold wine. Wait. Just, <laughs> just wanted some cold white wine. And as you know, we don't have a fridge, but um, we're resourceful enough. So I know this is single use plastic for anyone that's going to pick me up on it, but it was something that we had to buy that came in plastic. We, you know, we couldn't help it. So, so that, you've wrapped your wine in plastic, that's going to keep it cool. No, but that's just going to stop any canal water. Not that I'm worried about that. To be honest, I've done this without the plastic in the past. But hopefully, that's going to just dangle. And then I'm tying it from the rain. <laughs> the hot water pipe from the rain, from the fire, which sorts out the central heating. And I have done this before. All I've got to hope is that no boats come too close to us now and shake my wine up. Cool, that's it, it's dangling. It's fine, can't read my book for half an hour. You want to be ice cold in half an hour? It'd be cool enough for me. <laughs> it doesn't need to be ice cold, mate, that's fine. It is a hot day though, isn't it? There you are, look. Let's have a look. No, oh, look at that. What's wrong with that? Nothing, it's perfect. There. <laughs> I'm chapter with myself now. So, there you are. Along. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we've just been walking the dogs, heard a noise, and down this drain hole, there's a tiny little moorhen chick that's fallen through. So, we've made a net long enough <laughs> and we're hoping to be able to fish this out. A lady on the boat mod opposite says this happens nearly every day and this is the second batch of chicks this year that keep falling down. She's asked CRT if they will net this drain but they won't because they said it blocks up with uh, debris that wants to go down there. Um, so this lady has been coming down every day to try and catch them. And Rich is uh, just having a go with the net. Yeah, 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 go on, we're in. Well done. Yay. Got the little blighter straight away. Poor little thing. Look, didn't stand a chance down there. It's poor little soul. Well done, mister. Shall I get it out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me that. Hopefully mum's around on the other bank. We'll pop him back in the water. Told you before, don't play by the weir. Oh. What'd you say? Oh. Well, after three nights, we are leaving our beautiful spot. Let somebody else have the pleasure. 
really enjoyed it. The only trouble with it is it's so open here that the sun's been blazing down on the boat and it's been a little bit warm inside on late afternoons when it's really hot. And I've actually got around to doing a bit of painting today for the first time in three months. So yeah, another bit done. So I'm walking along. I've got a uh, swing bridge to do just round the corner. So I'll take it on foot. But the uh, blackberries along here are delicious. We've had quite a few, including some what Fran put in some apple crumble. They're absolutely delicious. And really sharp, nice. Well, we thought we'd bought another tin of paint, the red, to do the gunnel with there that you can see in white. But uh, seems like we've used most of it, so I've just got enough left to do the rear there where Fran is standing, the rear doors and the back there. And uh, have to get a, buy another tin soon as we can. But it won't take me long to paint that now. The weather stays dry for a few weeks, so I can uh, crack on with it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little chick we rescued with its parents. Just pecking away like nothing had happened. Oh, this canal really does live up to its reputation as being one of the beautiful, most beautiful on the network. At every turn there's a stunning view. So we've got this little swing bridge to sort out now. And we need our BW key. And if you're wondering what BW stands for, it's British Waterways, who used to be the old controllers of the canal system, but is now CRT, which is the Canal and River Trust. So this one's not electric, but it's, uh, you need a key to turn and release this lock. Well, this is the Matlow Swizzles factory and anybody of a certain age will remember Love Hearts and the likes. Well, this is where they're all made and uh, if you're like me and I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, you still buy Love Hearts and Refresher Chews and the likes. So it's got a real... <laughs> A real aroma around it. It's, you, you can smell the, the sherbet and sugar in the air. It's uh, wonderful. So apparently they've been here since 1928. 